What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the inverse of any logarithmic function, right? So let's start with these over here. So first we have y is equal to 6 raised to the x, right? So the first thing you want to do is just flip x and y. So we're going to rewrite this as x is equal to 6 raised to the y, okay? Now in order to solve for an exponent, we have to get rid of this 6, right? The base. So in order to get rid of this base, this 6, we need to take the log of both sides. And we have to take the log of this number that we're trying to get rid of. So we're going to write it as the log base 6, right, because that's the number we're trying to get rid of over here, um, of x is equal to the log base 6 of this whole thing, 6 raised to the y, okay? So then here we're just left with log base 6 of x, and that's equal to this thing over here. Now the log base 6 and the 6 cancel out, so then we're all, all we're left with is what's in the exponent, which is just a y, right? So then here, and you can flip it if you want, you can write it as y is equal to the log base 6 of x, okay? So this is our inverse function right here. All right, let's try another one. So we have y is equal to 5 raised to the x minus 9. So again, let's flip our variables and write it as x is equal to 5 raised to the y minus 9. Uh, we're trying to solve for y, right? So let's get rid of this 9 by adding 9 to both sides. So we get x plus 9 is equal to 5 raised to the y, okay? So again, in order to get rid of this base, the 5, right, because we're trying to solve for y, we're going to take the log base 5 of both sides, right? So we're going to say log base 5 this time of this whole side, which now it's x plus 9, and that's equal to the log base 5 of this whole side, which is 5 raised to the y, okay? So then on this side, all we're left with is the log base 5 of x plus 9, and that's equal to this side. So again, the log base 5 and the 5 cancel out, so we're just left with the y right here. So we get the inverse function is equal to log base 5 of x plus 9, all right? So that's our answer here. Uh, one more, kind of similar, is this one right here. So y is equal to 10 raised to the x. So again, let's flip our variables. So we're gonna have 10 is equal to 10 raised to the y. And then again, we're gonna take the log of both sides, and in this case, it'll be log base 10, right? So we're gonna say log base 10 of x and log base 10 of 10y, okay? So then on this side, we're just left with log base 10 of x is equal to, and then again, this guy and this guy cancel out, so that's equal to y, okay? So then we get that the log base 10 of x is equal to y, uh, which we can rewrite as just log of x is equal to y, all right? Whenever we have a 10 right here for our base, for the little number right here, you can basically hide it and just write it as log of x or log of whatever number you have here, okay? But in any case, this is our answer right here. So y is equal to the log of x. All right, now I'm basically gonna show you how to go the other direction. So here we have y is equal to log base two of x, all right? So again, the first thing you wanna do like always, is just flip your variables. So x is equal to log base 2 of y, right? Now, we're trying to solve for y, so to get rid of this log base 2, what you have to do is basically, uh, whatever number, little number you have here for your base, you're going to use it and rewrite this as 2 raised to the x is equal to 2 raised to this whole thing, log base 2 of y. Okay, now here the 2 and the log base 2 cancel out, and then we're just left with what's ever over here, which is just the y. And then on this side, we're left with 2 raised to the x, right? So we're, all we're left with is 2 raised to the x is equal to y, all right? So that's your inverse function right here. Uh, now here we have y is equal to log base 1 fifth of x, okay? So this is going to be x is equal to log base 1 fifth of y. Okay, now again, to get rid of this log of one fifth, you're gonna take whatever number you have right here, the little number, and we're gonna write it as one fifth raised to the x is equal to one fifth raised to this whole thing, okay? So then again, these guys cancel out, and then all we're left with is 
1 fifth raised to the x is equal to y. Okay, uh, now this one over here is going to be a little bit different. So it's y is equal to 13 plus log of x. So again, we're going to rewrite this as x is equal to 13 plus log of y. Okay, so first we can move this 13 to the other side, right? So we're going to have x minus 13 is equal to the log of y. And now remember, whenever you have log of just some number, it's basically implied that the little number right here, the base, is a 10, right? So in order to get rid of this log base 10, we're going to raise this whole side, right? So this becomes our exponent, so it's going to be 10 raised to this whole thing. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to take whatever's over here, so x minus 13. So we're going to say 10 raised to the x minus 13, okay? So again, on this side, these cancel out. And then we're just left with y, right? So we get that y is equal to this whole thing, which is 10 raised to the x minus 13, okay? So then that'd be your answer here. All right, now let's go over some natural logs. So we have y is equal to the natural log of x plus 3. So again, just rewriting this, we're going to have x is equal to the natural log of y plus 3, okay? Now, in order to get rid of a natural log, we have to use the special number e. So we're going to say that e raised to this whole thing is equal to e raised to this whole thing, okay? Because remember, a natural log, that's the same thing as log base e, okay? So you, if it helps, you could rewrite this as log base e, right? And then again, how do you get rid of a log? Well, you take this little number, right? And then you just put it down here, right? So just like the last few examples that we did. So then on this side, the e and the natural log cancel out, and then we're just left with whatever was over here, which is y plus 3, right? So y plus 3, and that's equal to this whole side, which is e raised to the x, right? And then here, just get rid of the, the 3, right? Subtract 3 from both sides. So we get e raised to the x minus 3 is equal to y, right? There's our answer. Now, here we have y is equal to the natural log of 2x plus 8. So, again, we can rewrite this as x is equal to the natural log of 2y plus 8, right? First thing we can do is get rid of this positive 8, so we can rewrite this as x minus 8 is equal to the natural log of 2y, right? Now, again, to get rid of this natural log, we're going to say e raised to this whole side and e raised to this whole side. Okay, so then over here we get that e raised to the x minus 8 is equal to, and then these cancel out, uh, just 2y. Okay, so then uh, divide both sides by 2, right? So then we get e raised to the x minus 8 over 2 is equal to just y, right? There's our answer here. All right, last couple problems here. So we have y is equal to e raised to the 3x. So first we're going to flip the variables. So this is x is equal to e raised to the 3y. Okay, now uh, we're trying to isolate y, so we need to get rid of this e. So in order to get rid of the number e, we need to take the natural log of both sides, right? Not just the log, but the natural log. So we're going to take the natural log of x and set that equal to the natural log of e raised to the 3y. Okay, so then over here we're left with the natural log of x and that's equal to, and then this side, the natural log and the e cancel each other out and then we're just left with what's in the exponent which is 3y. Okay, so then solving for y we'll divide both sides by 3. So the natural log of x over 3 is equal to y. All right, uh, next one, y is equal to e raised to the x minus 4 plus 7. So again, let's switch x and y as x is equal to e raised to the y minus 4 plus 7. So first we can get rid of the 7, right? So we can write it as x minus 7 is equal to e raised to the y minus 4. Now to get rid of the e, again, we can take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to take the natural log of x minus 7 and that's equal to the natural log of e raised to the y minus 4. 
So then over here, we're left with the natural log of x minus seven is equal to, again, these guys cancel out. So we're just left with what's in the exponent, so y minus four. All right, so then we can add four to both sides. So we get that the natural log of x minus seven plus four is equal to y. All right, so there's our answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other Here. examples, just let me know in the comment section below.